Alright guys, this is a review of the ALS by Safari Land and um, how it works is basically you insert your pistol into the holster and if you try to draw it out, it won't come out. And on the flip side here, you have a thumb release. You smash the thumb release and out comes the gun. And so, it's a good holster. It's got uh, excellent retention. I mean, it's not going to the gun ain't going to come out because it's uh, being held in by the injection port. Now, I will say that it will wear away the finish on your injection port, but I don't care about that because I think that guns are tools and I don't give a crap how my finish looks on my injection port. It, it stays on the belt very well, extremely well. I would say sometimes too well. You know, it's got a this piece right here and once it gets onto your belt especially if it's a duty belt it's not coming off this piece right here guarantees that this thing ain't coming off until either a you take your belt off or b you uh, put in some extensive work to get the um, holster off if this piece here conforms to your hip pretty well inside the holsters felt lined or looks like raw hide some type of you know liner in there and I guess that should you know could protect your finish but like I said going back to the pistol it actually gets worn right here I mean that's what causes it also if you notice this on the top of your slide this gets worn out too and that's from me doing thousands of practice draws from this holster now this holster is designed for a Glock 17 and um, my, this is my primary carry when I'm at work if I'm carrying um, my Glock 31. I used to have a Phobos and I actually still have a Phobos for my Glock 20 and I plan to upgrade to the ALS with the light. And if I had to do this again, I paid $29.99 for this. I would still get this holster, but I'd also like to have the ALS with the light for my Glock 31 or Glock 22. So I've had it for four or five years. It's tough, never failed me. The black has wore off of this from being scraped on stuff. And the black is beginning to wear off this, just I guess for normal wear. It's a bit scratched up, but it still functions good. If you get a close in look, you can see several scratches on it. That's from bumping into doors and stuff like that during training. And that's pretty much it. It's a great holster. Thanks.